once, tell me twice, are you certain I'm all right? Just a sign to remind me tomorrow's worth the fight. Ever changing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Achilles Vale, and I am bringing you some SAO Fatal Bullet on the PS4, of course. Now, this is the room you get. Um, the person you see standing here is my Arphasis, which stands for Artificial Financial uh, Advisor System. It's an AI deal. And you can customize it and yourself. You have all this stuff in this terminal uh, in your uh, place. You get customization data, skills, skill sets, gadget sets. So when you, with your weapons, Whenever you want to uh, customize your weapon skill set, which I will be showing you what I mean by that here in a couple minutes, um, you will see about that. Now, however, there's only one bad thing. I will warn you guys to those who are wanting to buy this game. There are a ton of loading screens, okay? I mean, on this video, there's probably gonna be a couple, about 20 probably. This is Kirito's room, as you saw before I went here. Aegil's right here. He appraises your items, and you can sell stuff to him. Lisbeth is the other vendor in here. She can enhance and transform your items. <laughs> see? And transforming your <laughs> items literally <laughs> takes these memory chips that you see on the uh, bottom of the menu deal. And... Uh, can take them and you have your base weapon if you see at the top by Elizabeth's workshop to the right of it you have your base weapon it's got the plus serial the plus of it plus symbol and then your material weapon and you can transfer um, um, memory chips from your material weapon to your base weapon if you want to now, of course all this costs money and other stuff but enhancing weapons is even worse than you know. enhancing weapons is literally upgrading them, literally like um, one here. Yeah, see, the plus, there's, you, can, you can upgrade it two times. You'll first show up the plus, and then you have the double plus. Once you get double plus, you can't upgrade it no more. <clears throat> Let me show you a Gil's uh, deal. And you appraise stuff, and I actually have some stuff I need to appraise, but I don't really care right now. Your, money, your cash, if, if you saw, was up there. Asuna uh, can make outfits for you. <laughs> By outfits, you have to collect them and such. You know, you get the idea. And a lot of these I don't have unlocked, so don't worry about it. Uh, and pretty much the whole gang's here. Oh, and in the multiplayer uh, deal called the Hero... I don't remember what it's called, but it has Hero something. You can play as any of these characters, okay? Well, except her. She's th That's my AI. You got... Uh, damn. You got Leafa, which she actually literally has Leafa's deal on right now, but... You got Leafa to your right right here, and you have Silica to your left. She also has Pina, which is her pet little dragon deal from the Aincrad arc. Yeah, of course, you have the Black Swordsman here, Kirito himself. You got Asuna, Yui. I think Yui's playable. I'm not sure on that. Aegil and Elizabeth are Sinon. And one of my friend's favorites. Yeah, I'm talking about you, E. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about you, James. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Klein. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> what these are, these three are literally just places to go, I would guess. I mean, this is literally just Itsuki's place. You'll meet Itsuki when you first start the game. He is one of the top players, just like Kirito. Um, PvP. I haven't actually even looked at any of these rooms. So, let's. I don't really feel like checking them out right now because we have a little bit more important stuff to get to. Like, you know, because I veer off and stuff. Now, the easiest way, okay, let me do this real quick. The easiest way to get around with the minimum I've allowed of loading strings, I will tell you this right now. You press the options button on your PlayStation 4 controller, go to your map icon up there in the tab deal, and if you're here, press O, because it gives you this, and then this is SBC Glockens. You can go to the Urban District, which is this. You can go back and go to your house, you can go to Kirito's, you can go to any of those rooms, or you can go to the lobby, which is literally inside the governor's place. You can literally navigate the whole thing in one loading screen, okay guys? One loading screen. That's it. 
stuff all you need. Now, I will warn you, you are going to, of course, have to, uh, you know, get stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you can also navigate the world. You can navigate the world in the exact same fashion. Go to the Remnant Wasteland, which is the first place you unlock. You go, see, these are all, these right here, these four right here, are all dungeons. Okay? These are all dungeons. Okay? And then the field just gives you the whole thing. See? Now, these are individual dungeons, and you have the fast... Oh, I fucked up. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, God, I'm itchy. I don't know why. No. This one. And you have all of your fast travel points. See, this one's got two. Wait, see what I'm saying? So you have that. You have Solitary Sandwich, which is the next one. And then you have the Old South, which is where I'm stuck at. It's so hard to kill stuff. Yeah, it's so hard. Just, just ridiculously hard. Um. So yeah, that's your best way to do stuff like that. I'm gonna bring us to the Remnant Wasteland so you guys can see what it looks like and stuff. Blue field. Um. Let's start at the cave actually. And yeah, and I will show you some gameplay and stuff in this. This is supposed to be a pros and cons video. So while I am kicking ass, aside from some commentary, we will be going over the pros. The pros, the pros, the pros. But like I said, tons of loading screens. If you do it wrong. Now, if you do it right, there you can have maybe two, three loading screens tops before you go. Yeah, that's if you do it right. Why do I have these two weapons? Give me a minute, guys. I'm reading my weapons. Oh my god, it's so itchy. What the fuck is wrong with my arm? That's <laughs> Give me that. Alright, much better. Now, as I said, we will start the pros now. The pros being this is an amazing game, guys. That's just my personal opinion, of course. Honestly, uh, yeah, I might not. That's what it looks like when you die, by the way, in here. Um, and then there's these <laughs> So, pros, yeah, I'm really doing bad at this guy. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do this, actually. You wouldn't believe I can hard this is for me. Um... Okay, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I think I'll make the pros and cons video later. I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm just gonna go to the like, how-to videos and shit like that. Like a whole how-to. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to go for a minute because I'm itching ridiculously and I don't understand why. I'll see you guys back in a minute. Guys, we're back. Like I solved my itching problem. <laughs> I'm like the murderer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing's way too old. Like me. We... We're beating them down. Now remember, these are actually low level. I'm merely showing you gameplay of this. I don't want to, you know, like, die in front of you guys and suck like that. <laughs> That's actually not why I'm doing it like this. Oh, I don't fly this. Hit up my luck. Oh, I have a better box. Let's see how fast I can go. Let's see how fast I'm 
Enemy or hot kick? God, it does not take you guys long. I mean, the stuff in Solitary Sands gives me an eh talent. I mean, it honestly, to an extent, does. But of course, once I level up my strength, this sword will probably pretty much be unstoppable, even more unstoppable than it already is. I mean, one more level up, and I have my Super Gatling gun that I haven't even tricked out, which I want to really badly. Fill him up, Joe, is what you guys should call yeah. And yes, by the way, I am what level? 32. Oh wow, yeah, I can level up. Alright, let's go. Gonna go back to the cave. Ah, <sighs> yeah. James, and yes, I'm talking to you, Elijah. I will make a pros and cons video. I may not make it tonight. I'm not. I've never made one of those before, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd probably be better if I just twisted it. Probably, but I don't know how I would do that, you know what I'm saying? Oh crap, heal me, heal me, heal me before I have to engage them. Right, heal me. Damn. Overkill much. Really? Now you'd freak out if you literally generally saw how fast Sakura is when she's not dodging bullets and stuff. Like when she's actually at full sprint. That girl is faster than I am, okay? And I made her that way for a specific reason. She's my healer, she's supposed to be faster. Bye. Let's go back this way. Let's see how many people we can piss off by doing this. And by people, I mean these things.
This has been part of the gameplay video. All right, guys, back another part of this. This is the uh, the lobby that you go to on the map. This is, I don't know if you saw, but this is literally where I spawned in when I died and stuff. This really isn't that long after. Um, these are the terminals right here that you go to get some of your quests. These are gadget shops. Those are weapon shops in the middle. That's another gadget shop right there. Wait, what? This is online PvP, it's called Hero Battles, that's what it was. Um, the red haired Arphasis is for your online leaderboard deal. The yellow haired is for uh, the bounty reward rankings on the game. The green haired is for the feature player ranking, which I don't know any of those. People. I don't know what that is. 
And the blue haired lady is a metal trainer, okay guys? So there you go. There's a little tour of this, more or less. What is this? Nothing. I have no idea what that was before I left off. I have no idea what that even was. Not even sure. There's really just so much to show you guys. It's freaking insane. We're gonna go ahead and check it. Check it. Wait, what? Oh! I feel like an idiot. Unique enemy quest. Okay, so that's where you get these. Hunting quest. That's where I want to go. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm a very large idiot. Dude, where else would you go to get those quests? Makes perfect sense. I mean, it does anyway. Bounty Hunting 101, take down Neil Nava near the floating tower. Okay. Level 13 Bounty. Let's do it. What else have we got? Let's go ahead and go to here and go to Unique Hunting Quest, the Unique Enemy Quest deal. What is with this music? I've never heard this music before. Oh, jeez. Oh, I've already done that like five times. I don't even know where that is. There's a handful of gunner drones lucky enough to have survived so long ago. Iron demons. Defeat metal armament. Recommended level 15. I've got that in the bag. Irrational for rations. Defeat Wanderer Eater. Some scorpions have gotten a taste for... Uh, now, and now keep trying to attack travelers to get more. King of the Wastes. Waste game. Shell of a person, defeat heartless puppet. I've done done that all the time. Subterranean road, defeat underworld rogue. One hit kills, solo stinger. Yeah, I saw that thing. Wiped clean, omni eraser. I think I've seen that thing too. Cursed room. Huh. I don't know. But we got some more quests and stuff now that we didn't have. Now what's this? Ooh. I had a feeling that's what this was. Now, I don't understand what the squadron Itsuki is going to bring to the table, but I assume it's going to bring something to the table eventually. Right now, there's nothing, though. So, <clears throat> whoa. Alright. Now we've cleaned all those. You get the idea. There's a whole bunch of things. I do know much. Yeah, I do. Yeah, see, I'm assuming with all these quests. Since it knows I've already killed them multiple times, especially for person with couples, it's going ahead and saying they're complete and stuff. So I'm probably going to get a ton of shit right now. I'm not joking, even. What is with this? I assume there are things you can do with people I've talked to. It's only what I would assume. Check out what it is that we have to talk to and stuff. Alright, guys, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Those literal three message deals over here were just telling me about uh, 
hunting quest over here, about treasure quest over here, and about outfit designs over here. So we're gonna go on screen, I suppose. I'll see why not. See what these are all about over here. The two over here. And yes, by the way, I do read them out loud, so if you're like feeling sleepy or something like that, you can just be like, oh, okay, he's just gonna read them, I'll know anyway, whatever. Stuff like that. <sighs> I like tired myself. I know, it's only like, what time is it? It's only 5.25 p.m. And this is Monday, the March the something. I think it's the 9th or some shit like that. All right, let's see what they are. Uh, it's Premier, and I believe that's Philia. Premier is this one. Good tidings. Are you familiar with encouragement actions? No, never heard of them. Encouragement actions create joy, joy in everyone. Successful encouragement actions also increase your metal gauge. I recommend you try encouraging people. I am convinced that nothing bad will happen. I'll try be I'll try to be encouraged. I will continue to learn many new things and convey them to you. Encouragement. When one of your fellow party members earns a medal, you can press triangle to commend them for their good work. Such encouragement charges the metal gaze even further. Keep an eye on your teammates or when they do well in battles to charge your metal gauge as quickly as possible. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, didn't know that. You guys learned exactly what I did. You are next. Yeah. Hey there, Achilles Vale. Have you encountered any crazy contraptions inside the dungeons yet? Yes. A time at Sakura. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, sometimes they lead you right to treasure. That's why a good treasure hunter never leaves a contraption untouched. Some contraptions even trigger alerts on your UFG. And if memory serves, there are some full-blown treasure hunting quests out there. What? You want to go on one? Then you should form a treasure hunting squadron and accept a quest. Yeah, you might even get a really rare item out of it. Would you want to join me and Rain on a treasure hunt sometime? We must like kill I blah, blah blah. Okay, we get it. Sounds like a good idea. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I just want to drop everything and go right now. This is boring. Okay, as a treasure hunting squad. You can accept special treasure hunting quests where you go searching for treasure chests in hard to find locations. These sorts of quests can also contain rare treasure that can't be found through any other quest types. Sweet. Like, I don't know, designs? As I barely have any, because you know, I just literally just right as I've been doing this, figured out what all this was. Yeah, I feel like an idiot. Back with some more stuff. I feel like I almost just jumped in a hole. Not even a hole there, I just freaked out. Alright, um. I'm so slow. I don't know why though. Who knows? Um, we're gonna go over some quick pros and cons. That's the end of the video, but hey, whatever. Pros of this would be. It is a great game. It has a great. It feels like a great mechanic. Um, like like controls are decent. They're not great, but they're good. They're a pro as far as I'm concerned. I like the setting. I like the menus and stuff. I think that's smart, especially with the map deal. Um, the gameplay is really fluid. It, at least it feels fluid to me anyway. That's just my personal opinion. Remember, remember guys, it's my personal opinion. Um, gameplay is feel fluid mostly. I don't know really what you consider fluid, honestly. Um, yeah, way too slow. But, uh, the controls are fine, stuff like that. Cons. Now, with me, I always. It's kind of more specific type con deal, but they're little pet peeves of mine, which are too many loading screens if you don't know how to use the map right, obviously. Um, this is. To be honest, for the bosses when they're new to you, when you're new to them, the bosses are extremely hard, guys. I will honestly tell you that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this. Oh, I'm not just standing there. The bosses are extremely hard. All right, let's go. Why am I so slow? Okay. 
Now, of course, these are bosses, so they're really not that bad. Check out Nightmare. Wow. Overweight? What do you mean overweight? That's why I'm so slow. Okay. That makes sense. Oh. What? Wow. I didn't realize I was overweight with that. No wonder I felt so slow. Okay, that's much better. I was like, what is happening? When I was doing it, was like, I was like, what is happening, man? But, uh... You know, now I was wrong. Take your game up! Oh yeah, oh that's right, cons. Uh, cons, loading screen, annoying. Cons, way too much freaking dialogue. Way. Much. If you're one of those kind of people who hates reading, well, not hate, because I actually do it. That really don't like reading stuff out loud, to be honest. You do it anyway. But to have a habit of it, so they do it anyway type deal. You are not going to like this game. I repeat, you will not like this game. Not even in the slightest. Because there is a ton of dialogue, guys. Not just a little bit, a ton. That is superbly annoying. What the hell? How are you even hitting me? You're not even shooting. Much better. Oh, and also, con, you have to take your things out of your hand before you can change them out. I think that, honestly, I think that is completely retarded, but that's just me. Remember, that's just me. Can I get any weapon ammo for that freaking blast? I'm pretty sure I do. This one right here is really Yes, this is the freaking rocket launcher. I would say rocket, but hey. be a lot easier if I was over there, but of course I'm not, obviously. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I mean, since he's not 
not moving. He ain't going nowhere, believe me. Where is he? Uh, that's really all my cons, honestly. I mean, I haven't played far enough into this game to really tell you a whole bunch of cons. But like, obviously, I don't know any. pros and cons video and this is Achilles Hill.